Uh, good day uh, for everyone. As you know, I drive truck. We all have our own opinions, concerns, fears, thoughts about the vaccine. Whether you've got it, whether you don't, I got a serious question for everyone. Something you're really going to need to think about. Because this is going to affect you, whether you want it to or not. Regardless of your status on the vaccine. You all know I drive truck. And I cross the border from Canada to the U.S., U.S. to Canada. Everything you have, everything you eat, everything you touch, everything you wear, everything in your house, everything you go to the store for, and odds are almost everything you have at work, all show it up on the back of what I drive. Come January, they're throwing a new loop in there. Everybody crossing the border in a truck, they want to have the vaccine, and a lot of us don't, a lot of us are not getting it. They're going to be parking a lot of trucks come next month. You may not think that's going to affect you, 15% of the trucks on the road shut down, can't get across the border, can't haul the product. It's going to affect you more than you realize. 15% is all it's going to take. Distribution centers aren't going to get their stuff out. Lumber's not going to show up. Again, everything. Including the grass that's in your backyard. At one point, usually came on a truck. Seeds. For the stuff you grow in your backyard if you're preparing for this. Unless you picked them up off a friend that picked them up off the ground. They showed up at the store on a truck. Toilet paper. Hmm, we've already gone through that. Trucks aren't going to be rolling come next month. This is the government doing this, not the drivers. We don't want to shut down. We don't want to park. We want to keep working. We've been working nonstop through this, day in, day out, 24-7. Hell, I'm lucky to get two, three days a month to myself to do my own damn laundry. And then I'm out there trucking. When we shut down, it's going to affect you. Stores are going to run out within days. Distribution centers aren't going to get product in, let alone get it out. Stuff's going to be going bad, get thrown away. You're not going to have the stuff you need for your day-to-day -day life. A lot of you aren't going to be going to work because there's going to be nothing at work for you to work with. No product to put in, no product to put out. You won't be able to get anything. It's going to affect you one way or another or in many ways that you don't want it to. This is, again, this is the government doing this, not us. We want to keep working. You stop and think about that, because if we park, so does your life. And it's going to happen within days. And it's going to affect you. All of you, no matter who you are. And it's going to happen fast. You can thank the federal government, both Canada and the U.S., for this. Not the guys driving the trucks.